Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I just want to talk to you about creating pretty URLs in Middleman. Now, over here I have two files. I have this homepage file and then I also have this a.html file. So if I want to access this a.html file on my website, I have to go over here and type forward slash a.html, just like that. And that'll open up this A file. Now, one of the problems with doing things like this is that I have this really ugly looking URL up here, right? Instead of um, just saying, for example, like forward slash A, because that would look really good, we have to say dot HTML, right? So I have to put this file extension at the end of it. And a lot of people, when they're creating a website, they don't want to have to have this dot HTML at the end of it, right? They just want it to look good and clean. And basically, they would just want something like this, like forward slash A and then that would bring them to the page. Unfortunately for us, if I go to forward slash A, we get a file not found, right? There's no file at that um, place in our website. So if I wanted to, for example, create a URL that would look like this, I could do that by going over to my source folder, creating a new folder, and we'll call this folder A, and then I could take this a.html file, put it inside of this A folder, and then rename it to be called index. And whenever you have an index file inside of a folder, whenever you go to that folder's location on the web server, it'll automatically serve up that index file. So now when I go over here and I refresh this page, it should load up the A file. And that's because we now have our you know directory set up properly. But this is kind of a pain, like having to create a new folder every time you want to make a new content file on your website. So Middleman actually has a way that we can do this without having to manually create this folder. First off, I'm just going to bring this file over here. So I'm just going to rename it back to A and then we'll put this back in the source folder. So the way that I can automatically create these pretty URLs for each one of my pages is by going down to this config.ruby file. And in here, I just want to type out the following command. I'm going to type activate. And then I want to type directory underscore indexes. And what this is going to do is it's going to take all of the files that we have over here. And when it serves our website, it's automatically going to serve them inside of their own folder like we just did with that A file. So I'm going to save this. And then when we head back over to our website, now I can refresh this page and it'll serve up that A file just like it did before, but now we don't have to create that A folder ourselves. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.